want your child to be well received. But at the end of the day, if you're being true to yourself and you're true to the work, that is really all that matters. And so just well done, Carl. It's a fabulous achievement. Thank you. Um, the whole thing, I suppose, about mindfulness and meditation, um, I have my own story. It's, this is not my evening, so I won't go into it in great detail. But I will say to you that I spent most of my 40s in bed, very, very ill. I, I got a flu when I was 40 and it developed into something extremely nasty and I just was very ill for a lot of years and my life changed dramatically. And really the way, that, and, and with that came severe depression, massive depression. And so I've been there too. And really the, the way back for me was multifaceted because depression is multifaceted. There's no, it's, there's no one type of depression and no one solution. Uh, to my way of thinking, but a, a huge part of my healing process was finding a meditation centre. And when I met, when I walked into, there was a meditation centre in Ennis at the time, I belonged to a Chinese Zen Buddhist lineage, and it's a healing school of Buddhism. Reiki actually has its roots in this, in this form of meditation and healing. And so I went as a client for healing and meditation. And gradually, over time, things started to change. And I met my teacher there. Um, I went to the States for a couple of years to a temple and came back here to do my work here. But I suppose the thing with meditation is that there's a very, and, and mindfulness, there's a sort of a, an idea in the West that meditation is kind of airy-fairy and it's all about sitting in the lotus position in a nice quiet room um, and emptying the mind and sort of just feeling good. And really that's a very erroneous impression because that is part of it, but it's kind of like the tip of the iceberg because Carl has already touched on it. It's about knowing yourself. It's about excavating the crap. It's getting rid of the stuff that's holding you back from being who you really are and mining the diamonds that are already there. So it's kind of it's the excavation process of getting rid of what you don't need, seeing where you're sabotaging yourself, seeing where you're tripping yourself up, seeing the patterns, seeing the habits, and letting go of them. And that's not easy. <laughs> That's, you know, it's easy to say and it's not quite so easy to do. So it's just the whole thing is a journey and it's, it's a wonderful journey and it's an exciting journey. And, and I'm, really, I'm really happy for Carl that he, he, he is where he is today because it cannot, it's, not an easy, it's not an easy path. But the whole thing I think too with, with meditation is it's, it's focused awareness. You know, it's focused awareness. And it is about being centered and still in the midst of the chaos and the, and the out of controlness that's going on all around. It's not about being perfect. It's not about not swearing. You know, it's about being normal and about being real, but at the same time, finding the center, you know, and, and, and operating from the center instead of operating from the ego and from the chaos. So, I don't know what much more there is to say, really. I think you pretty much summed it up. Good. I would liken the meditation practice more to uh, nuts and bolts than to the unicorns and rainbows. I think it's very much about working with the stuff that comes up. Yeah. And, and thanks for those lovely words, Deirdre. Well done. Thank you. Thank you.